Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be factory starting this right here. So to factory set, there's a couple ways. So let me just show you. Let's open this up. And there's a way to do this within the menu in the new Mac OS. However, I don't like that way. And that's because it just brings us a bit of problems later on when we try to reactivate this. So personally, what I suggest doing is shutting down your Mac first. So make sure it's shut down. So let me just show you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna shut it down. And once it's fully shut down, don't close the lid. You're gonna need to hold on right here to the power key. So that's, yes, touch ID. So yeah, it's for your fingerprint, but that's actually a button as well. So if you hold on to it, just keep holding on to it. We're gonna see this right here on your screen. So let me just show you. All right, so on our screen, we should see these two options. And what you want to do is go into options, continue on, and then just let it load. From here, you're gonna see this. So again, let me focus in. All right, so what we want to do is go to disk utility. That's down here. We're gonna go into continue. And again, I do wanna highlight that within the Mac OS, there is an option to factory reset your Mac, but that just gets complicated. This is actually the simple way to do the things. So I highly suggest just doing it this way. And this way only works with newer Macs. So if you have an M1, M2, M3, it's gonna work. If you guys have an Intel Mac, then Command R would be the way to get into here. So I do have a separate video for that. But again, all you have to do is just hold on to Command R when you're turning on your Mac. So in this utility, what you guys wanna do is erase. So select your first volume up here. So that's Macintosh HD. Then go into erase. So that's here. And then just uh, leave it as is a, yeah, see this option here? I just wanna highlight this. Select the first one, it's fine. Go into erase. And this means that it's gonna erase everything. So it will delete your Apple ID, everything from within the Mac itself. So right now we're gonna erase. That includes any pictures, information, everything. So erase Mac and restart. And there we go, just let it be. So what will this do? Again, your factory settings. So that means when you got the Mac for the very first time, you turned it on, that's what you're going back to. You're going back to the very beginning. So you're gonna have to set up your language again, putting an Apple ID and all that stuff that's gonna ask you. Of course, if you're selling this and you're doing this, then I would set it up, but without an Apple ID. So the new person who's going you're gonna sell it to can actually test it out. You don't have to, but I highly suggest doing that. So right now you should see something like so. Like so. It's gonna say activate Mac. You do need Wi-Fi for this. So if you can't click on next, it's because you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So on the top right hand side, you will see that Wi-Fi signal. Just make sure you're hooked up. If that doesn't work for any reason, then you should go on and uh, use an ethernet cable. So we're gonna go on and just hook it up. Gonna press on join. And only once your Wi-Fi is working on your Mac and it's connected, you're gonna be able to activate it. Without that, you won't be able to, you do need internet. There are other ways, yes, without internet, but then you need a USB stick or something like that and activate it through there. But that's just more difficult. Right now we're gonna go into, your Mac is activated, perfect. So we can go to exit to recovery. And then from here, all we have to do is just reinstall the Mac OS. And you should do this whether you're selling this or you're just returning it back to the store. You should do this once again. Do this if you wanna go on and delete everything. Well, technically we already deleted everything from within the Mac. Right now we're just finishing up with the whole process. So at this point it's just installing the Mac OS. Uh, to set up the installation Mac OS, click on continue. So we're gonna go on and click on continue. Once it lets us, we have to agree to this. Select the HD, continue continue and just let it do its thing. For most of you, this will take just a couple of minutes. Some of you with older Macs, it could take a lot longer. Again, with older Macs, Intel Macs, this process would be the exact same thing. It's only, the only difference is at the start where you turn off your Mac and you turn it back on, you would be holding on to Command R on your keyboard until you see all the options. Other than that, with these newer Macs, the M1, M2, M3s, then it's a little bit easier just because you have to press down the power key until you get to those options. Within the Mac OS, I did mention that you could run uh, this uh, factory reset 
However, it just becomes a little bit complicated because uh, people get confused about what's going on after it's done. But if you follow this video, it's a lot more straightforward and uh, it's just easier. I also want to note that during this process, you do not want your Mac to turn off at any point in time. So if this is a MacBook, make sure it's hooked up to some electricity. So go on and hook it up. Uh, it doesn't matter if your battery is 100%, have it charging. If it's a Mac mini or anything like that, don't worry about it. Just don't let it turn off. Your screen it's, itself might turn off, but if you just touch the trackpad, you should see this up again. So after a few minutes, you should see your Mac just restarting, Apple logo, and a loading bar. All right, and then you should see this. That means you're done. You can go on and set it up again, or if you're returning it, uh, you guys can go on and just shut it down. To force shut it down, hold on to the power key, and you guys will see that it turns off to a complete black screen. There you go. And we are done with the factory set. And that's how you guys can do this. And these would be the exact same steps, regardless which Mac you guys have. As far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.